Now for a complete change of pace. Once upon a time in New York City, there was a family with a, a little girl who got cancer. And her father, uh, the little girl's name is Sally, and the father's name is Matt Cable. Um, he decided that um, he wanted to do something to raise awareness for pediatric cancer. Now, in New York City, there's the Empire State Building, which quite regularly puts on different colors, illuminates itself, it illuminate, illuminates itself in different ways for different causes. And there's a process by which you can write the Empire State Building and say, uh, hey, uh, I'd like you to, uh, on this particular day, show this particular color for my cause. So he thought, what a great way to raise awareness by getting the Empire State Building to put on a gold light display just for one day. Because, I mean, who knew? Gold, apparently, is uh, the theme color for pediatric cancer research. So let's go gold. Let's go gold to raise awareness for little little girls and little boys that are in the same position as, as two-year-old Sally, who are battling cancer. So he put in a request, and uh, Empire State Building said no. Ain't I going to do it? So what do you do these days when some big, powerful person is making you mad or not giving you the kind of service or response that you feel that you need? You go to social media, right? That's the thing that you do. In the old days, you'd go directly to a TV station or something. Now you go to social media. And things sort of got ugly. Um, people on, on social media started really pressuring the Empire State Building. And some of them apparently were not very nice. But... One thing that did happen was that this campaign started to, to take off. People were pressuring the, the Empire State Building. What's the matter with you people? Why can't you go gold for just one night? I mean, you, you'll put on colors for anything. So what's wrong with pediatric cancer research? Why not? And they weren't getting a very good answer. So I have a close personal friend, Joel Waldman. You may remember him from his days at uh, K-Gun 9, where he was a reporter there. Well, he went on to... Um, to greater glory in uh, New York City as a reporter for the Fox station up there, Fox 5. And he's done some stories on this. And Joel was on the phone with me last night telling me about this. And he read me the response that the Empire State Building had just released in response to this public pressure campaign, which we're going to get to in a minute. But I, <laughs> I fell off my chair. So before we tell you why I fell off my chair, we're going to take a brief clip from uh, one of Joel's stories. And he's done many at this point on Fox 5 about this whole this whole dust up but um, here's one of his stories little cancer patients versus the giant Empire State Building around the world from New York newspapers to London tabloids even riled up rappers are tweeting about it the heat is on the Empire State Building to go gold for just one night to raise awareness for pediatric cancer research. But so far, building representatives have said no to young cancer patients like little Sally Cable battling leukemia. How do you not stand up for seven, seven kids who die every day? and the 47 kids who are going to be diagnosed today from cancer. Sally Cable's mom, Nicole, just doesn't get it. Two years ago, it was another parent, Dad Tony Stoddard, who made the first formal request with the iconic New York City building to light up gold to honor his son Cole, who died from cancer at age five. Stoddard was rejected, too. Now, New York City politicians are stepping up to make their voices heard. It is upsetting. They've used it for sports teams. They've used it for the Lion King. They've used it for, for other uh, entertainment venues um, to celebrate certain uh, milestones. But yet, when it comes to a very serious, uh, serious uh, issue like pediatric cancer, they decide that it was um, one of the many that they could not accept. World famous Coney Island jumping in to help the cause, promising its famous parachute jump will light up gold for one week beginning September 5th. We love the Empire State Building, but we say fooey on the administration there. We've got the parachute jump. In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. In the past, the Empire State Building has turned green for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Blue for Big Blue, the football giants. Even red and yellow for the Chinese New Year. But no go for gold when it comes to raising awareness for pediatric cancer research, especially troubling to these tough native New Yorkers. 
tonight, the Empire State Building turns green, white, and orange for India Day. Meanwhile, we reached out to the Empire State Building once again about going gold for pediatric cancer research. They did not get back to us. Okay, so on the night that Joel did this report, the Empire State Building, which had said no to pediatric cancer research as a cause that they would be willing to embrace, said yes to Independence Day for the country of India. Now, I don't know about you, I've got nothing against people from India at all. I think, you know, I think they're, they're wonderful people. But do I care more about American children with leukemia than I care about Indians getting their independence from Britain however many years ago? Yeah, I think I do. I really, I really think that I do care more about that. So, in the midst of all of this, now, um, Coney Island's parachute jump has agreed to go ahead and go gold for, um, for the kids. And they're going to do that on September 5th. But what I found really interesting, and this is where I fell off my chair, Joel read me, uh, the Empire State Building had just released a statement about why it was saying no to these, uh, to these kids. And, and I got to tell you, I'm just going to read it to you, okay? I'm going to read parts of it. It says, um, Empire State Building makes the following statement on behalf of its employees. Recently, an individual, and as you'll see in a minute, this is one of the, this is one of the, breaking, the deal breakers for this whole application. An individual requested a tower lighting for childhood cancer awareness. Now, it is clearly stated on our lighting partner application on our website, that the Empire State Building does not accept lighting requests from individuals. A social media campaign has been launched to lobby for this individual's request with a false pretense that the Empire State Building does not care about children with cancer. Shame on them for saying that. Nothing could be further from the truth. In support of organizations which help people suffering from this terrible disease around the globe, the Empire State Building has provided World Cancer Day, and blah, 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 blah. They go on and talk about all the cancer things that they've done. Sadly, there are over 200 different forms of cancer. In addition to all the other diseases and tragedies for which we receive lighting partner applications, each of us has a personal cause, which is important. And many of our employees have direct personal experience in loss from cancer, blah, blah, blah. But there's 200 of them, okay? So the Empire State Building is making this statement because this social media campaign has become abusive. Empire State Building employees have been personally attacked on the phone and harassed, popular people saying, you suck, okay, and harassed by email. Emails probably say, you suck, okay, but that's abusive, and by people who do not know them with profanity, threats, bullying, and perhaps the worst, wishes that they get cancer, which is clearly not a very good thing for them to say, okay, that's not a good thing to say. But here's, here's the kicker. They said Empire State Building is privately owned. All lighting partnership requests go through an application review process. There is no lighting in 2014 for organizations which address childhood cancer. Okay? There, there, we don't have anything on our building in 2014 for organizations uh, that address childhood cancer. Organizations that behave responsibly may apply for a lighting partnership in 2015 uh, and future years, okay? But who can't apply? Empire State employees have been regularly, personally attacked on the phone, harassed by email, and the internet by people who do not know them with profanity, threats, bullying, and wishes that they get cancer, all right? Bullying. Yes, these parents of little children who have cancer have been bullying the big old Empire State Building. Now, I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound like an equal contest to me. And I don't know what floor this little release was written on, um, but I'm guessing it was pretty high up. And I'm guessing people look from that vantage point, those executives high up on that building, I'm guessing people look pretty small from up there all right and um and if you're an individual we just don't care about you you know because you got to be an organization if you're going to make this permit okay fine but here's what i think should happen and you know and i'm just a little radio talk show host from tucson arizona 
But I got a lot of admiration for New York City. I think that New York City uh, represents... Uh, it's the epitome of the American spirit. And I think it, it represents some of the best of what America has to offer. And I think New York City folks are, um, are, are big-hearted people, despite their sometimes gruff exterior. So here's what I would love to see happen. On September 5th, or you know what, work it out with the mayor or whatever. Maybe we need to declare a day. But on September 5th, we're going to decide that children with pediatric cancer are important to us on this particular day. And forget the Empire State Building. You know, just who cares? We're going to light up New York City. So if you have a business or a home with a front porch light or a business entrance light, take out the bulb, replace it with a yellow bulb. Or if you don't have that, maybe just go buy a piece of yellow construction paper and cut a heart out of it and tape it in your window or tape it on your door. Or if you drive a car, maybe you turn on your parking lights because, you know, the, the front lights of your parking lights are gold. So maybe one, at one point in the afternoon, you just turn on your parking lights. Or maybe that day you wear a yellow tie. Or maybe that day you bring that old yellow purse that's no longer in season and you bring that, yellow or gold. Just show gold that day. Um, I have... Just think how wonderful it would be for everybody in New York City who could do that, did that. And then if you're a building supervisor and you've got the ability to put gold lights on your building for that day, you know, just do it. I mean, I have this mental picture of, of astronauts looking down from the space station, looking down and seeing Manhattan just awash with gold light. And yeah, maybe there'll be a little black dot where the Empire State Building stands, but everybody else will be showing the gold that afternoon and then later that night for pediatric cancer so that maybe a little girl who's sitting in a cancer ward will see somebody coming in wearing yellow. Or maybe she'll see a story on television news, maybe one of Joel Waldman's stories about people doing this. And she'll think, you know, on other days, you know, the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles got their day and India got theirs, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But today is my day. Today, I get to be reminded, people do care about me, that on this day, people are thinking about me and people like me who might be ill with cancer. And they're banding together just to beam thoughts of goodwill to me and to the researchers who are desperately trying to solve this disease. This is my day. And thank you, New York City, for making that happen. Think how wonderful that would be for that child to know that on this day, of all days, this day was set aside for them so they can feel loved and so they can feel hope. I don't think that's too much to ask for. You know what? Even if it is being asked for by an individual, quote unquote. And as for those Empire State Building people who think they're being bullied now by social media, these big old, I mean, one of the biggest buildings in the world, right? This little two foot tall, two year old is bullying them. Okay, fine. Uh, they're irrelevant, although I would like to give them an award. Now, I, I can't figure out how to give it because I don't know how you would affix a Bronx cheer to a plaque. So the logistics of that, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out how to work that out. However, I do near, live near a horse farm, and I could go out in the field, put on some rubber gloves, pick something ugly out of the field, have it bronzed, maybe for the Empire State Building people, call it the Golden Road Apple Award or something, that'd be good. But really, they're not relevant. It's like, you know what, fine. They're a, they're a private entity, let them do what they wanna do. This is about New York City. New York City, what can you do? What can you do for this cause and for these kids just for one day? Something to think about, that's my challenge to you. This radio show goes out only in Tucson, Arizona in, on broadcast airways, but it is sent out it's also streamed on the internet. And I'm going to post this little segment on my, sh on my blog, the Bashful Bloviator blog. So maybe somebody will hear it. New York City, balls in your court. I think you can do it. And I hope you do. The Forest Car Show will continue.